Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to make another card. I know all of you are ready for me to get back to doing some altered projects, and so am I. We will get back to that. We're going to be doing a mini album here probably next week, as well as a junk journal. So if you're interested in those, then tune in. But today we're going to make this card. I know the card's been out there all over YouTube. I've seen it everywhere, but I haven't tried my hand at it yet. So I was going to try it now, and I thought I would just bring you along with me. We'll see what we can come up with. Okay, this piece of cardstock is 4 and 1 quarter by 11. You're going to put it down on the 11 inch side. You're going to score at 1, at 2 and 3 quarters, 3 and 3 quarters, 5 and 1 half, 7 and 1 fourth, eight and one fourth and at ten okay again that is one two and three quarters three and three quarters five and a half seven and a fourth eight and a fourth and ten so that is your scoring for right now so you can put that away go ahead and fold and burnish your score lines Now, if you'll see, both ends look the same as far as score lines. And this right here is your middle score line. So see, if you fold it in half, you can see that this is the very center of this piece. So what we're going to do is take our knife. We're going to fold this back. And I'm going to start cutting. Use my ruler so I can get it pretty straight. Put my glasses on. We're going to put the ruler right up at that score line, all the way up and down. And we're going to start cutting about a half an inch from the end. And we're going to cut it all the way down to about a half an inch from the other end. So, so see, that is all we did right there. Okay. Lay this back over. Okay, and that is all you're going to do to this piece for right now. See, that's going to fold up. And I know y'all have seen these. These are those pop-up cards. But we're going to do one. All right, this little piece is cut at three quarters of an inch by four. And we're going to do some stamping on it. Now, I am going to introduce you to a new little tool that I absolutely have fell in love with. This is the Lawn Fawn Chamois Stamp Chamois, and it just says, just add water. And that's all you do. When you get it, it's kind of stiff, and it's in an airtight little package inside there. And you just take it out and dip it in some water and let it get good and saturated. And then, I just lay mine down on there. This just says, you make me. And I'm just using some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So we're going to pull this down here so hopefully we can see it. I'm going to try to get it right in the center without getting my head in the shot. Okay, that's good. You make me. And then all I do is take it like that. And look how clean it got that stamp. Spotless. And there is all of the yuck on there. Or you can pick it up and do it like this. It's made out of kind of a, I don't know, not, it's not paper. It's a real tough material. But it absolutely gets your stamps perfectly clean. Then when you get finished, when it gets kind of yucky and gets quite a few stamp impressions on there, just take it and wash it out and you're ready to go again. Okay, so we're going to lay that aside. You make me. And then on this piece is where we're going to stamp. Happy, happy, happy. And somebody asked me the other day, why did I take my stamps and do them on the back of my arm or my hand or whatever. This is a new stamp I haven't stamped with. And if you, 
if you'll get just a little bit of the oils off of your skin onto the stamp, it'll make the ink stick a lot better. Makes a better stamping impression. I just do that to the stamps that are new that I haven't stamped with before. Okay. Let's see. We'll put that about right there. There we go. Let's see there how good it cleaned that off. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, happy. Here's another happy. Another one. Whoops. You know, you can't get ink out of the lid. There we go. That is it. All I had to do to it. Okay, you make me, and there's happy, happy, happy. And I may put a, a little bit more on that in a minute. I don't know. I'll, I'll see. But then to get this off, all I need to do is take it in there, wash it out, and it's ready to go again. So we're going to lay that aside for just a moment. All right, I'm going to use a piece of cardstock. Okay, I'm using a piece of cardstock that is three and a quarter by five and one half. And then this piece that I stamped on is two and three quarters by five. And that's going to mount right on top of there. But first, I feel like I need a little color on there, so I think I might pull out another stamp and just stamp a few little flowers on there. Let's see what we have. Okay, here's a good one. I like these little flowers right here, and this is an, a stamp by Joy Claire. I'm not sure we can still get this one, one that I got last year. But if you're interested, just leave me a note, and I will see if we can still pick this one up. And this one is called Grow in Faith. So if you're interested in this one and you'd like to see if we could still get it, then just leave me a message and we will see what we can do. So I'm just going to pull off a few of these flowers, different ones. And I'm going to grab some inks. I think I'll do the pink. The light pink and the dark pink. There we go. Get a small stamping block. And we'll just stamp a few in different areas. That's cute. Okay. Do some in pink. Oh, that's a light, light pink. Let's see. I think I'll introduce one more color. Let's do a little bit of yellow. Ooh, I think that one needs to clean. Oh yeah, I think that's better. 
we've got all the colors in there. So let's put this up. Yeah, I like that better. It's got a little bit of color on it. it does make you happy to look at that, doesn't it? Okay, so let's put it down on here. And I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. Someone asked, how do I get my little magnet to stick to the side of my art glitter glue? This, our magnets, the basic grade magnets that we sell, they have the adhesive already on the back of them. So, I just pulled the adhesive off, the little cover off, and stuck it down there. I don't know about other magnets, but I know the basic gray already have the adhesive on them. And those will be linked below as well if you'd like to pick up some of those. Okay, we're just going to center this in here on this piece. There we go. Isn't that cute? I like that. And then this piece we're going to put right here. And you know, I should have just kept my colors out because I think I want to stamp on the either end of that. So we'll stamp one right there. And then we'll use the yellow. We'll flip it over and stamp one on this end. There we go. And then we're going to put this on the front once we get this put together. But let's go ahead first and we're going to put some score tape down on this piece right here. You can do it on either one, this one or this one. You're just going to put some score tape down up at the top close to the fold and then down at the bottom. And use your tool, your everything tool, to pull that off. Pull the backing off, that is. And then this piece is going to, you know, I should just do that. There we go. And then this piece is going to stick right in the middle. So just center it up the best you can. Just like that. Then it's going to go Gonna go up through there. Okay, and then we're gonna put some adhesive on this side. So adhesive on this flap that's on that other end and then just stick those together just like that so see that's what you've got on the bottom this is the bottom and here's your top so let's see what we've got here okay so if we So this is the little piece that's going to be the front, and that's where we want to put this so that it can be seen. And I'm just going to use some art glitter glue on this. And 
see I just put it on that fold right there so this is how it will look and then when they open it up you make me happy 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 okay I'm using the same um, six by six pad that we used the other day the rustic cottage and I showed you that it's really really pretty we're just gonna use a couple of pieces of paper and this is cut at one and a half by four and we're gonna put this right here Okay, and then for the back right here we're going to put another one and that's one and a half by four as well. Okay, so when you do the card, there you go, or when you get ready to mail it, you just close it up like that. And when they open it, it'll be like that. Isn't that cute? I like that. Okay. Alright, what do you think about some bling? Of course, you know I have to put bling on here. Uh, let's see what we have. Let's see if we have something in here. Oh, let's put some of these little white flowers on there. Put one right there. And maybe one over there. So there we go. And let's see. Can't really put anything on your card because it has to slide back and forth through that little opening there. But we can put something elsewhere. Let's use a couple of these little rhinestones to put in the middle of those flowers that are on the side. Right right there so we'll put one right there oops that one went flying somewhere my vacuum cleaner will get it so we'll put one right there there we go that is cute now we have isn't that cute look at that let's do it again there's when it's mailed and then when they get it you make me happy 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 I absolutely love that okay guys that is the card for today I hope you enjoyed this if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we will be back with the mini album and the junk journal we'll be doing those and we've had a few more requests so we'll see what we can get in this week we will talk to you later bye bye